This is the first of two videos that I'll do on Fourier filtering. That is filtering in the Fourier domain, in the frequency domain. We're working through module four uh, and you should be pretty much at 4C or 4D, all linked to the original docx file. I want to make sure you do this here, open this one and look at the exercises within it. But I'm going to talk about Fourier filtering today. If we look at uh, the docx file and scroll down to Fourier filtering, there's a link which you can click on. If you do, it ends up here on this molecular expressions page. Uh, and you can choose a lot of different images here. I want to choose this one, but after you work through this one, you can try the same thing and see how it operates on different examples. But let's look at this one. We have an image. It has superimposed on it um, a striping pattern. And the Fourier transform of this image is this. This is the magnitude of the Fourier transform squared. So it's the intensity or the power spectrum, the Fourier power spectrum. And then if we take that and do an inverse Fourier transform, along with the phase, of course, which is not shown here, then we get back to the reconstructed image. So we have this and its Fourier transform magnitude squared. Uh, and it has a center spot, which is the average brightness. And then it has a very prominent spot here and its redundant twin there and there due to that striping pattern there at a certain frequency. The rest of it is due to, you know, what's underneath this striping. All the details here at different frequencies, starting off at low frequencies, medium frequencies, and there's some high frequency content. But I want to look down here and choose low pass filter. So this is filtering in the frequency domain. This is the frequency domain at low pass and we can move this slider bar here and what we're getting here is a low pass filter um, and we can change change the size of it. This low pass filter will multiply by the power spectrum. The low pass filter is letting through these low frequencies and blanking out the high frequencies. So in the middle, it's multiplying by one and outside of this circle, it's multiplying by zero. And the frequency here, the frequency at the perimeter of the circle is the cutoff frequency. So we can make that lower or higher. So we start off with a fairly high cutoff frequency. That is, we're letting most of the power spectrum through and we're doing an inverse Fourier transform of whatever's inside this circle. And this is what it is. Not too much different than the starting image. Okay, so it's just the stuff within this perimeter that we're Fourier transforming. If we change that cutoff frequency down like this, we're cutting out more and more high frequencies. We see the effect in here, not very noticeable yet. Um, there's a big effect when we keep cutting this down and cut out those two frequencies there, then we tend to lose the striping. And we also blur the image because we're losing all of the picture content out here. We're losing the high frequencies and only letting through these low frequencies. So 
go. We can continue that process, you know, let, letting through less and less of the information in the power spectrum, doing the inverse Fourier transform of that, and resulting in this image. We've lost the striping. We've also lost all this other information, and that's resulting in a blurring of the image because the sharp edges are due are due to the high frequencies, the high spatial frequencies. So this kind of filter here, where you let through certain frequencies, let them through totally, multiply them by one, as it were, and block all the other frequencies, multiply those by zero, is called a brick wall or a pillbox filter, low pass filter. If we um, move to a high pass filter, let's see the effect of it. The high pass filter is going to let through the high frequencies and block off the low frequencies. This is also a, a brick wall or a pillbox high pass filter. So it's letting through the high frequencies blocking off the low frequencies and as we block off those points there we lose the striping effect and we're getting really edges only the edges in this image as we block off more and more of the frequencies so that's a high pass filter and then lastly we can look at this freehand filter. This allows us to um, draw a circle for example and position it over the spot and it automatically positions over the redundant twin and you see it more or less takes out that striping effect if we kill those two parts of the power spectrum. So this is Fourier domain filtering. We're filtering, we're letting through certain frequencies and filtering out other frequencies. And I want you to look at this here and choose different images and try the three types of filter that this allows. Low pass filter, passing the low frequencies, high pass filter, passing the high spatial frequencies and then drawing freehand filters and you can draw spots all over the place.